we you get these obstacles they're always the same none of them are special but guys are not special either and they fall victim to the same obstacles over and over again. They don't put the work in. They don't, you know, they don't drill. But if you got you an objective, drill. I yeah. mean, if, if, if that's what you, you got a goal, you yeah. you you have to prepare for the goal. And I can't tell you how many do, young dudes, I'll be like, prepare for the test. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. the test is coming. Study up. Yo, what's up, Prince Square Pimp Brigade? On this episode, we have Lamar King and John Watson from All Things Funny, All Things Funny Games. And we're here to discuss if men need women, if women need men, and how modern day dating has changed completely and how we can adjust to that. If you love what we're doing here on the show, follow us over at Patreon, patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do the bonus content, and uh, it really helps keep the show going. So uh, it's a lot of fun. So patreon.com slash manschool202. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Dante, it sounds like you described in like a, like a confidence nirvana. Epiphany. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like once yeah. you reach like confidence yeah. nirvana. Once you enlightenment. <laughs> you you yeah. levitating on a different plane. Yeah. And, like, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, but that but that but that's what it that's what it is anyway, though. Yeah. It's when you, you know, when you we talk about people being insecure, that's part of it. Like you know, security or a person that's secure in themselves, they have reached a certain level yeah. of awareness, self-awareness. I mean, literally, that's yeah. the definition, self-awareness. Yeah. So when you yeah. can when you can switch from run one to the other, mm. you know, most people don't even realize which one they are. But when you can switch to one to the other, there is a there is a moment. There Wait, is when a, you say I, switch, when like you go say from switch. being insecure, an insecure type right, right. of person to a secure right, right. type of person. There, there is an, right. uh, in Oprah's language, there is an aha moment. There is a, yeah, yeah. you know, a Zen feel to it. Cause now you don't go, and you said this earlier, you, you don't look for external, uh, uh, validation, validation It's internal. So it's right. not even, doesn't even matter to you. So you and are levitating. Yeah. And they'll, and they'll call you, uh, uh, arrogant or, or yeah. cocky. Yeah. You know, whatever, fill in the blank. Just like you were saying before when I said, like, they'll, like I was saying, they will call him, she will call him an asshole even yeah. though he's not being one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They'll call you yeah, those yeah, things. Well, but it's like, it's like, nah, I'm, I'm just, I'm good. You, like, I know. You floating, you floating yeah. above. You yeah, know I'm what I mean? Like, but I, I don't, don't even go, go. I don't even go. I don't. I'm, I'm, mm, I just do that. It's just, mm. I don't even respond yeah. and explain how I'm. Now, if I'm questioned. I'll, I'll, I'll be like, so it's, I'm not allowed to be happy. That's, that's, mm. you want this to be it's a situation where I'm just not allowed to be happy? That you mm -hmm. should be, I, and I would say this, I want you, I like you, but I don't give a fuck about you. Oh, Understand okay. <laughs> that my happiness is the most important thing to me, and I will not sacrifice it for anybody. So then there's no, because the, 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 the well, I'll, let me, I'll get to that, but I'll be finish the story. So the dude goes, um, he hits me up the next, other things, let me just say this. He's from Austria, right? Okay. So very pragmatic. The culture is very pragmatic. And he, he's like, I never realized I did not even like her in the first place. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is a whole revelation in my whole life, right? So he had a date with a chick, and he goes, and I go, well, who is this? I, I thought he was calling me up about this one. He's already got another one line. He goes, okay. I was telling this girl that I was to come over to her house, and I told her she lives so far from me, I'm, I'm going to stay over. Now he's, yo, I'm going to stay over. <laughs> and she, she goes, so he goes, she goes, so the girl is like, he goes, listen, um, I, I think he said that. Well, and I told these Austrians her I'll bring give my... orders, man. They give orders. Oh, yeah. So, mm. you know, yeah, she it's... was like, I'm going to bring my pillow and my blankets. Oh, all right. <laughs> and he, so he gets there, he's cuddling with her and he goes, um, he, he's, he's like, he's cuddling with her. And uh, so he tries to go, uh, oh, He's playing he then like, like hands between the tits. He's playing with the tits. And she goes, Oh, I I I don't like that. And then which my response is, well, uh, how about this? 
like, come on, do it now. Come on, give me the pussy. Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> so he goes, now. she goes, she goes, well, I'm just not like that. It's, you know, it's fine if we're cuddling, but if it's just, and he goes, so it's okay for us to cuddle for me to grab you tits, but not when we, yeah. and yeah. he goes, that's stupid. He goes, that's stupid. <laughs> so he goes, what? He goes, that's just stupid. And he goes, he says, um, you know, forget it, right? So now he don't he don't like this one either. Right? Right. So he says, I said, Well, did you leave? He goes, No, it was late. He said it was late, so I just wanted to get some sleep. He said, But I'll tell you, never in my life, if I had done that any other time, I would have went to sleep and then I would have been angry all night because of the fact that she didn't want to she didn't want to do anything and why why didn't she this and why how come I'm not this that and he goes I slept great I woke up the next morning she cooked she cooked breakfast and then I left he goes and then I I never called her again she but, called me but and I go I'm not in this must have been in between the two consultations because if if this was after yes. he would have known to get the confirmation over the phone this is what I'm into this is what right. I want from you. I'm coming well, over. He, he called me. Yeah. He called me up about that, and I said, "I said, but do you? Do you?" I said, "You have you made out with her, right?" And you, you, you I mean, you, he go, "Yeah, we made her. We we kissed and you know fondled." And I go, I, "I go, okay." So you and she knows you're standing over the night over. You're coming to spend the night over. I was like, okay, but then she flipped it anyway. Mm. So he was, but he had from the spirit, he was like, Oh, you not rock? Cool. Got it. Yeah. It's cool. That's a big, yeah. that's a big deal though, because the, the ability. What he did was he went, he was like, I'm bringing my pillows, I'm bringing my pillows and blankets. Then the girl was like, well, I don't mind my breasts. She goes, my breasts are not sensitive. And so he's like, all right. He goes, I don't mind if we're cuddling, but I don't. And he was like, I don't. <laughs> He goes, he, he, on his mouth, he just was like, this, that's stupid. <laughs> like, Wait a minute, that's just, a, this is a new layer. You just added a whole new layer. Yeah, yeah. She's like, she what do you mean? The fact titty, that she, she offered her titties to, for him to lay on? No, she says they're not sensitive. What, they're not did, sensitive. Did he, did he confirm what she was? Oh, oh, oh yeah, minute. she, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, she, she do, but the thing was, Did he hand she check was her? just, she, she was just like, I'm not, I'm just really, I'm just not really looking for a sexual relationship, and he was like, fine, that's, you know, she goes, I, he goes, it's not really what I want, he goes, that's, that's fine, that's fine, and so they were supposed to go to some concert, and he was like, well, let's just not, I'm not going to the concert. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. go to the concert either. Yeah, it's like let's just use, renege use on these good everything. tickets on, on, a, on a good prospect. I ain't gonna waste these yeah, tickets on a good, friend. I'm good. I'm 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 good. And so he, so this was like he was consult. He consulted with me maybe three times in a. Usually a dude will hit me and then they'll hit me back in a couple of weeks, or maybe a month. But he he hit me like three times in a week. It was just he, oh, he yeah. getting the good stuff. But he was moving so quickly. Because what I was telling him, he was getting results from it every time. And right. I guess part of him being, you know, <laughs> Austrian, German, he was just, it was so, pra he was like, so I would tell him, well, if you say this, she'll say that. If you say that, she'll say that. And then she, he was like, it was like you were in the room with her. I said, because <laughs> the reality I felt, is. I felt your presence every time I talked to her. <laughs> Dante, I you the reality. Dante, I, 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 I. <laughs> the reality was that um, women think they're different. Mm. Then no, like if <laughs> different like, than what? Other women or different than men? Women just think they're different. They all think they're special and they're oh, different, yeah, yeah. and they True. all do the same shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. Men do the same shit. The the the, and and this is no knock to you, John. But when you said now I got to be an asshole, right? It's something that I've corrected, dudes. Right? Harry will tell you this. I corrected the. The the, the 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 context a hundred sure. times like, sure. even when a guy says i don't want to you know i don't want to waste her time stop 
Mm. No. You, do you care about her time? No. And be honest. I don't want to waste my time. Right. So then what the, the dynamic is different. Those little those little innuendos make a difference because what I'm saying is you have not earned my concern. It's something that you have to earn. Just like I have to earn you to just feel comfortable enough to fuck me or comfortable enough for you to want to. You have to earn my protection. You have to earn, earn mm. my mm. desire to want to be around you. And I think when we start dealing with it from a because we're supposed to be so equal everything is supposed to be equal then it, it should be equal right it, it i can tell you what i want and if i'm not getting any happiness any joy from this i'm not doing it i mm. won't do it i mean i can't tell you how many times i've counseled young dudes you know dudes go to the go go to the girl house and they want to you know they think they, they want to smash and then they go, well, you know, how do I get to that? I go, well, how many how many times have you been in this situation where you go to smash and then you 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 just the first time you try you crack and and she goes, You don't even know my name, you don't even know my middle name, you don't know <laughs> nothing about me. I go, What's my favorite so? color? All right, um, right. What's my favorite do word? <laughs> I don't, you know, and I and I go. <laughs> look, I've look, never middle name, huh? middle name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm still working on your first name, honey. But yeah, until right. then, <laughs> <laughs> not only that, but or they'll say, uh, "What's the other thing?" Um, I don't, I don't do that till the third date, or like I have a, yeah, you know, until, until we get a title and all of that. Or, or 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 I don't I'm not I don't get I don't kiss on the first date or I don't so my I said to guys young dudes all the time I go have you ever heard and I would say this to y'all y'all are seasoned vets have you ever heard something that you haven't heard before has anybody ever said something that was so different that you haven't heard before. Not that I can recall. Not that I can recall. Not not yeah. anymore. You know, yeah, not anymore. Like, Maybe yeah. the first time I heard right. it. Right, <laughs> right, but, right. <laughs> but we're saying, then, no. <laughs> through, through the seasons, I believe yeah. I've heard it all. Yeah. You, know what I mean? you have heard but it like, all. Yeah. And and let's be honest. Even if you heard it all, how many different versions have you? How many really? Let's be honest. It's not a, an array. Yeah. Of answers. It's three. You haven't heard my color, but you don't even know my favorite color. The, you the don't playbook. even know my middle name. The playbook is very thin. Very thin. The playbook is very, very thin. thin. They all have it's very thin. And, and how do they choose to, to 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 articulate it? That's up to them. But the playbook itself is very thin. So you go, and like when you hear it, you go, oh, you on page number seven. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> oh okay. Oh, you on that bull. Right, me, right. Let, me, right. Tell okay, you, got let it. me tell you how. Let me tell you how typical guys are. If you already know what the test is. How come you didn't go in and practice the practice the answers before you got the test? That's, that's a good point. Because a lot of times we think we don't need to. But not only that, you don't know exactly when you're gonna get that pop quiz. I mean, you but you know there. it's coming. You know it's coming. But you was over there. You was you was studying hard on math because like you felt like she was about to hit you with the math, and then she came with the history and the science. Like, damn, I wasn't. Well, it also I wasn't thinking about that. Just it today. also depends on what kind of student you are, where you're expecting to fail. So you really you really could give a shit about the test. You know it's coming. You know it's gonna be some bullshit. That's a good you, point. You just try to bob and weave. When I was a student, I cheated a lot. So, yeah, but, well, but there it is. Here's my thing: if you got the test, why not prepare the answers? It's a take-home test. Mm -hmm. It's really a take-home test. Mm -hmm. So, if I give you an, here's what you could do. Well, let's do this as an experiment, John. You hit me with one one obstacle. You trying to get the, the draws? You hit me with the with the with the question. Whatever from the from the playbook. Hit me something from the playbook. Um, oh, 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 hold on. let me formulate it because I know what it is. It's a uh, 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 something along the lines of um, hit. No, just what, hit me. Not along the line. Hit me with the. Hit me with the question. We have, where, we where, do you even... see, where do you see us going? Where do you see this going? I have no idea where this is going. I like you, right? I like you, and um. But I want to I want to have sex now, if if 
here's the thing. If you if all you got <laughs> for me is pussy, that's all I want. Yeah. And if you have more, I want that too. <laughs> <laughs> That's I like that. That's smooth. I would love to entertain the prospect of, of you being a whole person. Right. <laughs> but right now, make yeah, right me now. make me believe it. Hit me up. <laughs> Lamont, that, hit me that, one. Hit that is, me that's, one. That's what you call total confidence in, yeah. and I don't give a shit if I get this ass tonight. <laughs> yeah. But when you when you really working for you, like listen, yeah. you know, uh, kids and family, and you know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to grow with a man. But Can you help me? All lies. Right, right now, I see. And you mind just... you, mind you, all lies. <laughs> Lamont, hit me with the hit me with your your best shot. Uh, what what uh, we haven't even been out yet. I, I listen. I totally get that you may not if, if that you may not be comfortable with me sexually comfortable with comfortable with. And if that's the case, I'm I don't mind not fucking. I do <laughs> mind can't fucking. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's that's, so, uh, that's, that's this, rich. You, you. This is like this is like. Throwing spaghetti on a wall, son. <laughs> Yo, how many times, like, because I know it's a matter of don't give a fuck, right? So, you know what I'm saying? If, if what you say, straight shooting, you're going to get your result, whatever that result is. But, like... No, I'm going to I'm gonna win it. I'm, I'm winning. You the, win none it. of these answers... Your ratio, your ratio is like... They, like they'll, none of these oh, answers yeah. fail. Okay. Hmm. None of, and I'm going to tell you why I didn't uh, Okay, and one, one more question. One more question. Of of uh, what of what um demographically age ratio doesn't matter. Okay. Mm. It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. Like let, let's I mean look, if you go deer hunting, right? And you put the arrow right in the where you're supposed to the, the, the deer drops. Yeah, right. right. It ain't rocket science, dog. It's just what I'm saying is if you understand because this so I'll give you the dynamite. Here's the, here's another one I get. Harry, you got a good one for me? Uh, as far as a, a thing a woman would you know, try the, to yeah. throw at you, um, I just I just don't know if I feel comfortable just yet. Well, that I mean that's the best obstacle because I want you to feel comfortable. I just want to know that we have this sexual attraction and that we're moving in that direction. I don't want to fuck anybody who doesn't want to fuck me. Yeah, there it is. That's the one. Yeah, let me try right. that one. That's a t-shirt. That's yeah, a t-shirt, that's the as a matter of fact. I want to do this one. Just like, I think I know what the so, answer is. I mean, I mean, but, look, it's, I got a right hook, right? Let me, now, let me sometimes try this one, I'm going to have to dip, dip and then throw the right hook. Sometimes I'll go back and then throw the right hook. Sometimes I got to, sometimes I block, block, and then throw the, but it, it's all. What about it, this? I, I'm on my period. I was about to say that. That was gonna be my. I'm next on my one. period, Dante. What do you Isn't say? Isn't that why they make red towels? <laughs> <laughs> Alternate answer. What yeah. that mouth do? Yeah. <laughs> we were your, is your mouth her. bleeding? <laughs> they also would have accepted. Bleeding. What would that mouth do? Yeah. What I'm just saying is that we, you get these obstacles. They're always the same. None of them are special. But guys are not special either, and they fall victim to the same obstacles over and over again. They don't put the work in. They don't, you know, they don't drill. But if you got you an objective, drill. I yeah. mean, if, if, if that's what you, you got a goal, you yeah. you you have to prepare for the goal. And I can't tell you how many do, young dudes, I'll be like, prepare for the test. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. the test is coming. Study up. You study. So it, it's funny as this dude was like, he was like, "Yeah, I totally get it, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good, and forget about the concert." So now he hasn't gotten laid from anything new yet, but he has a confidence now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is priceless, and it's going to be magnetic. It's, never, it's going to come to him, and he yeah. won't have oh, to. Oh yeah, go telling you, yeah, confidence, yeah. man. Confidence is a motherfucker, man. Yeah. If you don't. Have that. It's it's. But you gotta. But you gotta. If you're not. If you're not familiar, like I be in these streets. Like mm -hmm. what's the, the the little chicken when we went to Atlanta? She was like, "Oh, I thought you was taller." Oh and yeah. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I didn't know you were studying me. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah. 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 Got him. Yeah. <laughs> so. 
So I mean, I remember, I remember fucking um when I was. I mean, Harry's a bit of a master now too. So he um like he picked up this chick because he told she told he was he said man this this sink is deep. Remember this? Yeah, it was just washing hands, is- and I didn't have any lines, so I was like, oh, I gotta <laughs> converse with her somehow. So I was just like, yeah, these sinks are deep. She's like, what? I go, yeah, these sinks are really deep. And then that became, she goes, oh, yeah, I guess they are, are deep. And then I, you know, that's, it's weird because that's all it takes to introduce yourself. I go, are you here by yourself? You're having a good time? She goes, well, I'm not having a good time. I go, oh, that's all. She, I'm like, what's wrong? Why are you having a good time? Well, now you're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, it. Yeah, that's yeah. all it takes. Sometimes it just takes a conversation, but it takes the willingness to throw. You know, it was a fucking pass. It's, you know, you watch football, you see a guy go, they just kind of throw it away. Mm-hmm. You go, oh, all right, fuck it. And someone catches it. You're like, holy right. shit, he caught that. <laughs> But I really thought you were going in a different direction with the deep sink, and I and I thought, oh, no. right. but you like, don't want to wow. go, you don't want to <laughs> yeah. go sexual. I thought that worked. I was about to say, <laughs> well, if the, if the if the say if you go sexual, then your your the subtext is that you want something, mm. and that you want something gives her the leverage to go. Oh, I have something that he wants. Got it. Mm-hmm. Then you the games mean, begin. Then then the games begin. Then she then she yeah. you starting with the with the upper hand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if she if she if so if the chick goes, I thought you were taller. What she what is she? The subtext is I have been watching you and listening to you. I have thought about fucking you, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I thought you were taller. Right. I did uh I did what you call this podcast uh horrible decisions. decisions. Yeah. And uh. And I said, you acting like you, I said, you're hitting on me. She goes, not with your married ass, which is yeah, if, if you weren't, you weren't married, yeah, right, right. I would fuck you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm not hitting on you because you are. Now I know what like, yeah. I know what the objection. How right. can I put you in this 2023 Benz? How can <laughs> how can we get how can we, how can we get you in this car? <laughs> <laughs> what do I gotta do to take it? What take right. What I gotta do to right. close this deal? Right. Yeah. What 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 do you, what are the payments look? What do you think the payments? <laughs> what do you need the payments to look like? Right. With the with the the interest at sixty percent. Mm. <laughs> you tell me where you need <laughs> to be, and we'll see what you can do. Right. <laughs> so I I think but but I think when you 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 so if you think about it in general, there's most guys. Are loyal, they're honest, they wanna they wanna be with a chick and wanna make her happy. Most guys. Mm. They want yeah, they want some ass, but they want to take a chick out. They want her to laugh and they want her to enjoy his company. They want to be good to her, right? And they don't want to hurt her feelings. So when you talk about like authenticity, telling the truth, being credible, showing up when you say you're gonna show up. And I don't want to do something that hurts your feelings. On a, on a base level, it seems like really simple, li- really simple principles. But those principles are such that they're so rare. So it's like when you think about it, you and John are friends because of those principles. Like without those principles, you don't have any friendship. But because it's easy for you to have that kind of that kind of honesty and credibility with each other, you don't see it as valuable. Mm. But if you, if if you if 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 you the best looking dude in the world with a six pack, twenty two inch arms, and you six foot three, but your girl come home and you fucking her mom, yo, her your your six pack don't mean shit. Mm. You know what I mean? It's a it's a variable. It's just not the only variable. If you got. If you got if you you fucking the baddest bitch in the world, you you bag the baddest bitch in the world, but then all of a sudden she goes, just one other thing. I got herpes. Mm. She ain't bad no more. Like yeah. it's they're all they're all variables. They're all the variables are important. They're just no neither one is more important than the other. They mm. all encompass you get this. I get this all the time. You get a guy five foot, five foot four. And he's lying about saying he's five foot six. It's because he thinks that five foot six, five, he thinks five foot four is not good enough. Right, right. So right, if right. I could just be two five, more inches, yeah, right? Five, yeah. six is the line. Yeah. 
But the but and that and that may be to a chick who's just not gonna go that way. But the reality is, yeah, it's a your shortness is a variable. It's just not the only variable. Because mm-hmm. if he's if he's five four and he pulls up in a Bentley, five he gets taller. He right. looks right. taller. He looks yeah, taller. Immediately looks taller. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. If he's a, if he's a dude, he'd be five four. And his and his dick is five two, right? <laughs> then it's all, it, like it, everything. Everything's on a sliding scale, and, and and we're figuring out. And and when you but when you give you know more over than not, like when you give a give give praise to our Lord and Savior Kevin Samuels, he <laughs> talks about these. <laughs> he, he talks about these things as if they're very definitive. Yet and still, when he talks to him, I want a high value man. And then you go, well, have you ever had one before? She goes, no. And he goes, well, then you don't get one. Then she went, what do you mean? I'm not good enough. But you, but if you talk, like if you ask somebody their opinion, they're going to, they're going to give, they're going to have a can't get mad at it. Yeah. Right. But but the, but you, but if you, if you, if your man is in prison, your baby daddy's in prison and he used to beat you up. Right. And but if I ask you, do you think you deserve the best? Yeah, you're gonna say yeah. But you didn't think you deserved the yeah, best. Right. The facts, the facts, right. the, the car fact shows otherwise. Right. So he's yeah, your he's rental history is a little it. sketch. Right. He's he's framing it in a way that makes them go for the highest. You, yeah, I want the AMF bins. Yeah, but, but you you drive a pacer like yeah, stop right like yeah. but if you say you drive a pacer but I, but I could don't when I get my real estate license you <laughs> when, when the settlement check drops <laughs> soon as my wait on that stimmy come right. in wait on that stimmy to come in so it's just I, I just think it's it, if you, when you the honesty takes a takes a different concept and I, and I think we got to practice. We we got to be practice being honest, and I mean, even if you're not like I, neither one of you dudes are liars maliciously, but Correct. you liars because you lie not to hurt nobody's feelings. Yeah, to protect you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, or, or, or not to be still, confrontational. Yeah, but it still makes still you a liar. It makes your yeah. word not good. Uh, sure. Sure. It's, the, it's the lying over mission. Lying over mission. Yeah. Like you leaving it out. You're not I, I would it. say. Yeah. I said if, if you, if you, if you are, if you lie, if, if you tell the truth ninety percent of the time, that's the definition of a liar. Mm. <laughs> this is you know what I mean? And I understand people ain't perfect, but. If your goal is 100%, I mean, that's, that's good enough. That's unfortunate because like, in any other uh, scenario, that's that's a passing grade. 90% 90 is an A. That's an A. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> that's an A. You're an honor student. Yeah. I, I, my man, my man is a guy, one of the famous, one of the, like, like your your um dude that does the crane. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. The, your, on your podcast. Uh-huh. The, yeah, yeah. So yeah. We, my, Oz is this dude Cinnabon. He's like the legendary dude on the podcast, and he he um he said uh, I'm trying to think. Of shit. We always get on him. We get on because he is he is picked up. He's like one of my best students. Mm. Also because he's kind of an asshole. Like he was already kind of an asshole. So this was an easy jump for him to, to go fuck out of here like he yeah. he broke up with a bitch because she used his bread knife on the on the oh. marble okay <laughs> like, <laughs> all right <laughs> but to be honest he said listen she used a bread knife on the marble and she he was like listen don't do that this is, you're gonna mess up my knives and she was like oh why are you being so picky and did it anyway and the, he's not wrong because what he she's saying is i don't give a fuck Mm-hmm. Uh, about what you care about. Right. I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. Why would you? you Got to go. She asked herself go. out. Yeah, she asked herself you know, out. And you know what? You know, you, you're going to wait till she does something stupid, but she's already showing you that this, you know. Telling you who she is. is in the cards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Um, yo, man, I got. I'm, I'm running my mouth too much. Let's get out of here, man. Yo, I appreciate y'all doing this thing. 
No doubt. Um, plug your shit real quick. One more. Uh, uh, the website for me is kinglamont.com and also all social media, Mr. Lamont King. And then the YouTube show, Friday, 6 p.m., hilarious commentary, trending topics, celebrity guests, interesting people, something like a podcast called All Fun and Games, youtube.com slash Lamont King. Uh, catch and me uh, all Lamont's things. gonna be oh, baby, I setting up. Go ahead. I'm sorry, John. Go ahead. No, no, Go ahead. I was just saying, catch me in all things at uh at John Watson ninety nine. It's just J O N. You can keep that H for somebody else. Yeah. Um. <laughs> John. Also, uh, Patreon. Play. Make sure you hit up Lamont. Let him know if you want to get us to come live. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Patreon people watching this right now, was, was, I, I just had a thought, man. I was like, damn, this. This will be golden in person. So if you're out there and, and, and you you uh, you've had a consultation, you benefited from it, or you would just entertain the thought of seeing Dante live in your city, uh, hey, send me twenty messages, and we and we gonna we're gonna put it on the whiteboard. Or, and, and or if you have a if you have a friend who doesn't know they need it, yeah, tell yeah, them. Yeah, you know, bring yeah. them along. If you got twenty, if I get twenty messages, man, we gonna we gonna take a hard look at it. Twenty messages. Yeah. That's it. Uh, Harry. Hey, for my social media, you could uh, go to at Harry Turjanian for everything TikTok, YouTube, the whole deal. And uh, also, I do relationship consultations as well. So email me at advicefromharry at gmail.com. Yo, what's up, Square Pimp Brigade with our Patreon? We're in the building. I want to take this time out to, sh- to shout out all the new Patreon players in the game. I want to thank y'all for supporting us. Um, one of the things that I explain, you know, a lot of times I, I, I an opening entrance of, of how I talk about the Patreon and whatnot. One of the things is, you know, the, the, the principles is, is, is one of the principles is credibility. And that means it's credible to help the motherfuckers out that help you. And so if you think we're helping you, we appreciate it, man. We appreciate the fact that the Patreon members signed up and, and actually took responsibility for the fact that, you know, we genuinely appreciate the fact that y'all are in the game and uh, y'all are in the game helping us out to, to keep this thing going. It ain't easy. And um, the fact that y'all, the few dollars that y'all sent us, make it make it keep coming and we're trying to move to where we can do it live and, you know, and, and do some different things. Uh, I want to shank. I want to shout out Anchor Patel, Vishon Hopkins, T Nick. Uh, uh, what Vishon Hopkins signed up on Magna Cum Laude. That's really dope. We really appreciate that. William Boyd, Stephen Torres, Stephen or Stephen Torres, Jelani Reed, Rocky Zadok, Ted Jin, Adam Smith, Dimitri. Cleavage Dude, and Mr. Michael. Yo, thank y'all all for signing up for the Patreon. I appreciate y'all, man. Um, the ones that signed up for the, the $38, I am I got you, you know, have sent me numbers. They get a 15-minute consultation with me. So that's going to be dope. I'm looking forward to doing that. I might even do that tonight. So I, I appreciate y'all, y'all. That's, that would be uh, uh, Vashon and... Uh, uh, well, Vashon, yeah, well, Vashon and uh, Rocky. So I'll be getting in contact with y'all soon. Um, let's get into it. Um, we had some questions. I want to keep in mind that with the uh, Patreon, I mean, you guys, guys get the direct line in with us that if there's anything going on that you can you can uh, hit us up right on the on the Patreon uh, on right on the Patreon app and. Uh, Ask the question directly, and I will give a. I mean, I will give a, a a a text message response, but more than likely, I'll elaborate on it when we do the uh when we do the Patreon show. So look for that as well. Um, things don't always sync up when when you send it to when we're recording. Sometimes we're ahead, or sometimes we're behind recording, and it's it'll come up right away. Sometimes it won't. It depends. So, uh. This is, uh, I won't even say who it's from, but let me just, uh, this is a fan mail question. The question is, I see the pendulum continuing to move towards women becoming even more independent, domineering, egotistical, like men were. Uh, Men are becoming more feminine. 
for a sheer balance. How should masculine frame men navigate the ever-growing phenomenon of the increase of masculinity in women? Whole frame and combat the masculinity uh, acquiescence or find ways to temper it in women? If so, how? Open message. All right, so there is this movement for women to... uh, Women are becoming a lot more masculine. Women are, I don't need a man. I don't need a man. I lost you there, but you keep uh, popping in and out there. The sound keeps popping. Now the mic is off. Yeah. Do we still got you want to do the, the... No, you can keep, keep going with the question. Yes. So, you know, uh, pertaining to the fact that we're finding women to be more masculine and, you know, over and over. You're on the internet. It's constantly women. Well, I don't need a man. We don't need a man. And this is it, which is, you know, over and over again, I think what we have to do is, uh, if you want to know how to hunt deer, you don't ask the deer, you ask the hunter. What that means is all this shit that women are talking about, in terms of the grand scheme of things when it comes to to women and what they think and what it none of that shit matters. The bottom line is that women have access to sex and reproductive rights. Men have access to marriage. Nobody c- can get married unless the guy asked the woman, we, and even if they do ask, even if the woman does propose, nine times out of ten, it's a it's a very uncomfortable situation. So we have to understand, too, why are women so masculine now? Why are they so, we don't need men, we don't have, I mean, when you get down to it, everything that is, you know, modern life, is built by men. I mean, I worked in the phone company 28 years. There were two girls that worked in the phone company that worked at the same capacity as men. Everybody else came in and they wore belly shirts and tied a knot in the back of their T-shirt. And then some dude who was a simp walked around and carried the tools and told them to stay in the, stay in the truck while we did the work. Over, I mean, even when you go... When you go to construction sites and you see the girl that's doing the flagging with the pink helmet, her eyelashes is as long as, as tarantula spiders. So it's like when it comes to motherfuckers putting these girders and everything together, it's men that are doing this. The problem is that what, there's no such thing. You never hear somebody say uh, uh, she's a woman of her word because we're not expected to, she's not expected to be looked at in terms of somebody who keeps her warm. She's she's allowed to be fickle. She's allowed to be unsure. She's allowed to be all of these things that allow her to 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 just be what we consider womanness. Um, unless of course you call her that, and then you're in trouble and people are yelling because you uh, how could you say that? This is chauvinistic and stuff. Meantime, women can have standards. Men can can have can have standards. If you ask me what the big problem is, the problem is that we're talking about it. We're having these conversations. I mean, we got to this point where there was a time when men didn't talk at all. And then there became a time when men started to talk and then they talked too fucking much. Everything is a conversation. Let's sit down and talk about that. Let's talk about this. Let's talk. Yeah. And the, the bottom line is, God, you were going to say something, Harry? I don't want to. No, cut it, it's a it's a weird balance because, like as we talked about before, there's a necessity for men to be somewhat more sensitive because it's not a great situation to go the other way where you don't talk about any of your emotions. But the problem is also that when you do talk about your emotions with with women, they tend to get angry or upset or something, and then you have to calm their emotions down, which makes it more difficult. So guys don't want to do that. It's a tough balance, and it's also a tough balance because you're expected to lead, but women 
from my experience, tend to also constantly ask questions and critique what you're doing. And you have to process taking care of their feelings and then at the same time ignoring them. And it's a lot. It's a lot to balance out. When is the right time to listen to her opinion about something? And when is the time to just do what you got to do? Or listening, listen, she'll tell you things that she wants to do that are, are wrong. She'll give you information that's wrong, counterintuitive to what she said the day before. So it becomes this tough balance, but you still have to, so ultimately you just have to make what the decision is f- for what she needs, not what she wants, for what's right. best for her, even if she gets upset about it. It's a very strange thing, but that's what you have to do. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you you were talking about this this week, how there's a situation where, you know, you you're if you're in a funky mood and then you talk about how you're in a funky mood and then because you say you're in a funky mood or you're depressed or you're not in the, in the best mental place yourself now, all of a sudden now she's sad because she's taking on the fact that you're unhappy the and burden, then you yeah. got to cheer her up so that she doesn't feel bad because you felt bad in the first place, which doesn't do you any good at doesn't all. Doesn't help you at all. No. And it takes more energy away from you to try to attempt to make yourself feel better. So now now you're, you're in a funky mood. You can't you don't feel good. Now she feels worse. Now you feel an obligation to lift her up, which is just double the work. It's just like, what am I doing? Um, and then I, at the I, end, you just go, you know what? I'm just fuck it. I'm not going to say anything at all. But I also watch these, you know, I've been watching all these other little manosphere people that basically hijacked our material and, and, you know, they're mm. repeating our material and our things in different ways. And, and they've got huge followings, but they're also arguing with these little, these bimbos that, which you know, is absurd. That, yeah. Why you bring them on as a as a voice and have a full length conversation with these girls who make their living just meeting putting, guys putting at clubs, butt plugs, just sticking things in their ass. It's like you're not you you like you you you're 22 years old. You're hot. You have not accomplished anything. The world is your oyster until you start to get crow's feet and that extra 15 20 pounds. Or when you're looking for something, you, you know. I mean, I watch. I watched eight videos of a guy trying to ho- trying to holler at a chick. She says, "No, I don't want to be bothered. I got a man." And then he gets in a Ferrari, and then she's she comes walking. Hey, what's up? Hi. And then they get in his car, and they're like, "Yo, you should take me shopping." Like, just, just you're not my type. I've I've heard them say, "You're not my type." Oh, I'm not your type. All right, well, okay. We don't have to be so nasty, you know. And then the guy gets in a, a Ferrari or a, a Lamborghini. Oh, this your car? They, the shamelessness in which they walk up and go, "Is this your car?" And the the fact that even I get that they're creating content, but the fact that you would even have a conversation with this chick after the fact, instead of running her fucking flip flop toes over with the fucking with the fifteen inch rims. The 15 inch wide rims with the 20 inch tires is amazing to me. Can you imagine somebody telling me I'm not your type? And then you go, and then they're mad at you because now they're willing, they're pitching. Now they're pitching to get you. But the guys will still kind of have this come. Oh, you're not a gold digger. No, I'm not a gold digger. Da, 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 whatever. It's like just even to have this conversation is amazing to me because if I had somebody said that you, and then I got in my car and they were like, hey, what's up? I would like, yo, get the fuck out my, get the fuck away from my car, you bum ass bitch. Like I would be so in, incensed about this behavior. The problem is guys are so the way the programming is all wrong from start to finish, right? So guys think by any means necessary, whatever it takes to get the girl, to get the number, to get the relationship, they think it doesn't matter. And when it completely matters, all of it matters. But to guys, the notion is whatever I have to do, however, by, by hook or by crook, if I could trick her, if I could convince her, if I, I catch lie, her. I'm going to tell her what yeah. she want to hear. As long as I get the pussy, then I can disrespect her afterwards. 
when what you're doing is we are creating the dynamics of this relationship. We are creating the gold diggers. We are creating the women that can treat you like trash unless you got a Ferrari or you got a Lamborghini. Because the bottom line is we're allowing it. And the way we're allowing it is we are, we are, we are tolerating this. To the same time, if women want to talk about why men cheat, men cheat because the guys who cheat get laid. That's it. The guys who can get laid get laid. Yeah. If if it's really we we set up the dynamic of the standard of what so we want a bad bitch with with three inch eyelashes and a fat ass who who is shallow has no skills. Because we find her attractive, we validate her, and this is why they are trifling ass bitches who don't give a fuck about nobody but themselves. And I'm not saying that all women are like that. I'm just saying, but this is what we we incentivize this behavior. So when we talk about your masculinity or your or the framing of women becoming more masculine, is this behavior is being acceptable. If tomorrow every guy on the planet was like, listen, I don't know who you yell in your voice. If you yell, if you raise your voice, if we all did a mad exit or Brexit from <laughs> from every from every chick that was nasty, didn't know how to talk to nobody, was disrespectful. Guess what? In a year, there would be no disrespectful women. They would understand that this is not this is not tolerant. So we create the situation by incentivizing and putting these women on a pedestal. Yeah, because if if it didn't work, they'd stop doing it. Right. So if you're talking Absolutely. about the intensity and, and, and what have you. But also, here's the other thing I have learned. It doesn't matter what the movement is or what what each individual woman is. You could meet a woman who is a very intense, you know, quote unquote, intense person what you put up with is what you put up with and what you don't put up with is what you don't put up with so right. if if you go yeah i don't do that and then it's up to them to go oh yeah but this is what we should do no i don't do that you know and it doesn't matter what they did with their last 10 boyfriends like i don't do that and so you can not change a person but you can dictate the nature of your relationship hey you want to be quote unquote masculine you want to be intense you could do that with the world but with me you don't do it that's it. And I just won't be available. And I just won't. And if you don't, then I won't be available because but it's the, a, the, the point is that they have so many options outside of out, there's so many options outside of you going. I'm not going to tolerate it. That women could go. All right. Well, I'll just go someplace else. OK. You know, but also do you don't want to ultimately you win because you're not with somebody who does that. And most of the time they don't go somewhere else. Most of the time. They'll want to adjust because if they're into you, they're into you for some reason. And if it's the right person, they'll adjust. And if not, they'll go. But most of the time they want to adjust because they don't like being, they're not used to being rejected or told no. Well, even when I talk about the subtext, the subtext of it is that I am willing to let you go if you're not going to give me at least meet my make an effort to meet my standards. And if you're not going to make an effort to do that, then what are we doing? What are we doing? I'm, I'm, I, there's nothing to talk about. There's nothing. I, I, I mean, I, 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 have you ever seen these videos, Hi? Huh? Which videos? Can we, can we bring one of them up? I'm trying to see if we get. Uh, let me see. Let me see what I could do. Um, where y- y- you look at these girls and you're like, yo, these mom, like they, uh, Gold digger. Hold on. Gold digger. Is that the prank? Yeah, it's gold digger prank. Yeah. Right. Hold on. If your business kept on you can't hear that, right? I can't hear that, no. Huh? I cannot hear that, no. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get it. Hold on. Um, let's see. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Uh, how do we? Oh, share screen. Hi, host disabled. You you disabled. Can you? 
Hold on. When you send me the link, I'll pull yeah. it up here. Because uh, just put type in Gold Digger Prank anywhere. Gold Digger Prank. On YouTube. But you, okay. you find this over and over and over again. We they women are what we what we have allowed. We've allowed this to be the case. We've allowed this to be okay. And because we've allowed it, it, this is why it continues to happen. And the minute we stop doing it, now don't get me wrong, if you're the only one that's doing it, I mean, I mean collectively as a as a movement, we have to change as men. But even if we, even if collectively as a movement, you'd be surprised how, j- just like there's certain guys, twenty percent or ten percent of the men get ninety percent of the pussy. The same is true when you are when you're ten percent of the dude that's not having the bullshit, that's not putting up with the bullshit. It's you. You move into because the minute you're not thirsty, did, did you find it? Yeah, I found it. Here we go. Uh, if you could share it. Can you see it? Uh, right. Do you see it? No, nah, this this not it. This, this, it's just the guy with a car. Oh yeah, yeah. This might be it. Yeah. Can you get the volume? The volume is up. Yeah, it's up. Can we hear it or no? I can't. I can't. Hear I can it. hear it. You can't hear it. No. You hear it or no? Yeah, I can hear it. I don't know if it's going across, but yeah, I don't you, know either. You, but here's here's the thing. He tries to get her number. She don't want to be bothered. First of all, she got big ass cankles. That's the first thing. She's it's not right. like she's a, a super hot anyway. He walks away, goes to get in the car. Are you playing it or no? Oh, uh, I'm playing it. Huh? And all of a sudden, she she has a completely different attitude. She has a whole different attitude where she's she is all about it, right? But but this is the this is the thing, the you, the fact that he's sitting on the car, having a conversation with her, is is the problem. Doesn't even matter if it ends up being where he goes. Yeah, you're a gold digger. Keep moving. The fact that he's even having a conversation with her after that, he should be like, get the fuck out of here, you gold digging bitch. Get the fuck out of here. You what's wrong? Fuck out of here with your big ankles. Fuck. I mean. That is the response should be not even a response where you're having a conversation with somebody who has basically told you that you have no value other than your vehicle, other than what financially you could you could provide. There is a there's situations where you you're literally looking at situations where the girls will get in the car. The guy, he go, you know, I don't know if you're a gold digger or not. We mean you don't know if you're a gold digger or not. This woman was like, didn't want to be bothered, had a man, had something to go. I'm in a rush, whatever. Stops, comes back, knocks on the window, gets in this car. I, I, I saw one of those where the girl is like, so you need to take me shopping. We, oh, yeah, where, where should I take you shopping? Louis Vuitton, Chanel, do this. It's like, why is this bum bitch in your car? Get her out of your, why did she even get a chance to sit in your car? Because by any means necessary, that's why. By any means necessary, guys think it doesn't matter. It matters. It matters. You are setting you're, the trash that you put up with is the trash that you, you're making her a trashy chick. You're telling her that the behavior, depending on how fat her ass is, the, the behavior that you're willing, that you will put up with. And what now, me as a guy who's not a simp, right? Now all of a sudden I'm fucking crazy because I want to I demand more from a woman than just her her bullshit. Her just blatant bullshit. And by the way, that doesn't that's not just for picking up women. By the way, that continues within the it's, confines of oh, your relationship. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it is the it's the rule has to be the rule because even if you're even if it's all good and it and it's working out, trust me, it's gonna come up again. You were just saying to the other day that you're pushing, you know, that you're in situations where it's like you're, you're, you're some, your chicks, where, what are you doing? Why you didn't pick up my, like. Oh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that, that, that situation came up where, uh, so, you know, my girl, she's a good girl, but even the good ones test you, first right? First of all, stop. No, no, I need that. the listener. I need stop. the listeners to understand that. 
need the listeners to understand that because what happens is everyone goes, I got to find the right one. No, it has nothing to do with just finding the right one. The right one is still work always. There's no days off. And it sucks that there's no days off, but that's what the fuck it is. Yeah. Period. Yeah. You know? And but, so, you know, I get a phone call. Did you, why, you know, I see that she called. I pick, I call her back. You know, I'm hanging out with Dante. And she goes, hey, I, you know, you didn't, you didn't pick up my call. What happened? I go, what do you mean what happened? I didn't see your call. Well, why not? What do you mean why not? I didn't see your, I didn't see your call. That's what happens. I go, for future reference, I go, here is, here is the answer to every time that I missed your call, why I didn't answer your call. Every time. It's because I didn't see the phone call every time without exception going forward. So that's that. What's up? Well, I, you know, I had a text. It's some un- unimportant stuff that it was not an emergency. I was like, is everything okay? Because you see, you made it sound like an emergency. Uh, here's, hey, I, wanna, I was there when okay. I got the call. And, and Harry genuinely had concern in his face. Like, genuinely was concerned about. What was the situation? What would happen? Is there something wrong? Do I need to step up? Is, is it something? Did something happen? So yeah. here's the crazy thing. This is about her insecurity and her jealousy, right? Which is interesting because Harry don't even step out. Nope. Nope. Not a once. The whole time when you had your rotation and you was traveling all over, banging everybody or whatever, you're not even doing that. That's not even a thing. No. So what happens is the tendency is to be like, oh, she's mad. She's mad. I got to let me straighten this out because uh, if I don't straighten this out, um, it's going to be a problem or whatever, whatever. Or, or yeah. is she OK? Or, well, you know, I mean, or let me do let me do all this stuff to make her feel OK, like so that she doesn't. But I, I, you can't I can't undo something I'm not doing. Right. You can't. If I'm already not cheating. Cheat less. I can't you know? cheat less than nothing. Than zero. Right. So, like, what are you doing? So now you're creating all these other scenarios, all these comforts. You're fluffing the pillows for something that you didn't even do in the first place, which is insanity. It's literally insanity. And then you you catch yourself and you go, what am I? What the fuck am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah. What am I? I'm not doing anything wrong. Why do Man, I feel your guilty? It's working. Yeah. At work. At work. And even if you weren't working, even if you were hanging out, even if you were networking, even if you was at a party, it's still who gives a fuck? If I'm already not cheating, I can't cheat less. Correct. But Correct. you get caught because the attendancy, because if you're in a situation with a relationship and the relationship is such that that you you you're a good man. You want her to be happy. You want her to feel comfortable. You want her to be okay. You want all of those things for her because for her not to do that, we take that as a personal, as a personal affront to ourselves, to our inability to make our woman happy. And it's like, what the fuck? So the masculinity, the question of the masculinity, and masculinity, you have to maintain your frame, even if it means letting a chick go. Because if you don't, it is going to creep. It's like termites. Like once they get in, once they get a foothold, dog, you you got a problem. You got a problem because it's hard to like, even I would say even more like bed bugs. If you start being, you start simping and you don't stand up and make it clear and it should be harsher than she likes. It, if the same way that you feel uncomfortable about what she's accusing you of, the, 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 the discomfort she should feel by what your response should be tenfold. Because that's the only way that they're going to back off that. And to be honest, they're still not going to back off that. It's still going to be a situation where, where they, you, you know, they Good still talk. regroup and come back and try to it's in the nature. It's not it's not it's not even done on purpose. It's just what they do. It's just it's a it's a subconscious test. It's all of it. And you have to just make the decisions that are best for everybody involved, even when she thinks they're wrong. Here's what having a good girl is. It's the length in which you how long you have to go before it come it pops up again. Yeah. 
In between tests, yeah. In between tests, because there will be tests. There's always tests. If you can get one that goes a year, consider yourself lucky. Because it literally could happen monthly. And every time that you test, you're being tested, you have to you have to come back and go, yeah, I'm still a motherfucker you thought I was in the first place. Because if you don't do that, you're going to have a problem. It's always going to be a problem. So anyway, um, we got another question, but we'll do it on the other one. Um, let's just, yo, thank y'all, man. Thanks for supporting. I've really been staying up on the Patreon and talking to y'all. So send us questions so we can answer the questions. I'm working next couple of weeks. We're working on going live so you guys can actually call in directly. And if you're on the Patreon, you you automatically get the the call in number um, when we we're gonna set up a time where we specifically will record and you guys can call in during the during the show. So, yo, I love y'all, man. Peace. We're out of here.